Okay. Am I audible? Am I audible? Right. Fine. So I hope you all must be able to see me. This is Nilesh. And today we are going to conduct a session for 2024. Now I will try to keep it a bit interactive in the end. Initially, it will go as a one-way communication because there might be many questions that may be arising in your mind, but somehow you will get the answer during the course of my discussion. I have decided to keep this meeting in English, reason being there are many aspirants, there are many future officers who do not understand Hindi and that is perfectly fine. Even I do not know all the languages. So, considering English as our medium of communication, this whole session will be conducted in English. But when we will have the discussion, you can definitely speak in the language that you want. I hope I am audible to you. Okay, so now we have nearly like 95 participants and it's 7 p.m. Whatever I am just saying, try to listen it with an open mind. At many places, you may agree with me. At many places, you might not be agreeing with me, but in either way, I am here so that I can really help you out with the experience that I have gained throughout my learnings in this journey. Before actually discussing the pattern, the cutoffs, the various mistakes that we make in this UPSC examination, let us first understand the most important, the most basic and the most relevant question for UPSC 2024. And that relevant question is why you want to do that? In fact, the question is why at all you are actually attending this session? All the question can be why are you actually going into a journey that can actually make you wait for the longer that you can ever think of? The, re the questions can be many related to this. But the answer is clearly there if you understand your why. This why thing is very important. You must not be preparing for UPSC just because someone else was preparing. Someone from our family was preparing this examination. Some of the persons whose videos you might, might have seen and you have an image in mind that a Singham type personality will develop. Or you might have seen some of the videos over the movies whereby you might have seen a hero acting as an IS officer or IPS officer or something like that. Now, those regions, they are actually temporary regions. They can be temporary regions. You need to find out your own proper region and that should not be motivated by some videos or something like that. Try to find out your why. What is your region of being in this preparation because the moment 
you will understand that why you want to be in your preparation you can channelize your energy with a full force towards the preparation now for this preparation remember that you need to be authentic with yourself and you can be authentic with yourself only you understand your why and when you will be understanding your why and you will be authentic with yourself you will become consistent now consistency is a rare quality and for being consistent you will have to be authentic with you and without consistency your psc journey can be a nightmare consistency will lead your way to labasna but only those are consistent who are authentic with their own dreams they are not moved by all the people who are coming and saying see for this reason you should do upsc for that reason you should do upsc they are doing preparation because they know their why now your why can be different from my why your why can be like you are fond of power for the power you want to come to upsc your why can be you are fond of some money and you must have heard some stories in the movies like they have stashed thousands of crores even but remember now if this is your why then there is no meaning of preparation of this examination there is money in this job but that is a very limited money that a normal government employee gets the only difference being being in the group a service his promotion his increment will be better than the junior fellows that's it but it is the salary is not going to be extraordinary and for the corruption you must not choose the path of upsc somehow you will be playing with the career of thousands of people or the lives of thousands of people your own lives etc etc because today with the growing e technology you cannot hide anything like uh, even to buy a land you can you will have to give your pan card so money should not be the reason for upsc now status can be the reason you want the status of your family to be elevated in the society that is very good this can be a very good reason you want the security and what is better than a job which can you give you the best security because this is the post which will always have the timely promotions the timely increments etc etc so that is the best job you the, that is the best government job that you will be getting through upsc after retirement the life is also super companies are lined up to give you the employment even the there are many companies which will be offering you thousands of uh, not thousands but in uh, the package in crores because you have the experience of understanding the government from the inside so you know the loopholes you can definitely set up their policies so that it does not come in conflict with the government policies and they can definitely work as per their convenience without coming in conflict with the government even you have many examples where an ias or ips officers they have been elevated to the position of governor later on not during the post but after the retirement that is the political benefits that, that uh, some people they do get after their retirement now because you develop the relationship that is an organic relationship between the political executive and the bureaucracy it it is not only that uh, they will be doing some favorable things but it is the organic relation that you actually develop with your political executives so they consider you as a talented person to handle the administration or the the highest positions in their ministries and definitely they come and they do offer you those so it is not only that if you will work for the political party then only you can get those things you can create your own position through the good work that you actually will be doing now others person why what uh, i was discussing that others person why can be different from yours your why is unique try to find your why paste it in front of your 
study table. Write your why on the paper. Paste it in front of your study table. You must always read your why regularly. It is very important because it will remind you always why are you into this preparation. So, as I, as I discussed, this why will you uh, this why will make you authentic towards your dream. This authenticity will lead to consistency, which is actually a rare quality. But if you will remain consistent, you will easily achieve your goal of the final selection. Now, there are rumors that you must give two years or four years or say five years, seven years for the cracking this examination. I do not believe in that. They are not rumors. But certainly they are a part of reality. The reason being there is loads of misguidance in the market, loads and loads of misguidance. People are making it as a, a business. And when it becomes business and we do not have the ability to differentiate between right and wrong, we often fall in their trap. Not everybody is a businessman in the market, but there are many businessmen in the market. So I will be discussing few of the misguidances that are definitely prevalent in the market, but understand that if you prepare keeping in mind the syllabus keeping in mind the previous questions and understanding the mindset of upsc it is indeed possible to crack this examination within a year you do not need four years five years six years to prepare and to crack this examination this is a myth definitely if during the first attempt, if you are not able to crack for whatsoever reason, even in that, you will learn so much that you can take your life to any place that you want, in the at least in the education field. So preparation of UPSC can not only give you a post, but can it can open different avenues for you. But let us not indulge in that. Let us get concentrated into the UPSC thing. UPSC examination can be easy and it is definitely easy if you remain sincere with your syllabus and previous questions. I will definitely discuss it with you, but in the latter part of this session. Now, the next question that comes is when to start. Some people say I want to start just uh, just I have crossed class 10th and I want to start it now. Some people they are in the graduation phase. They want to start then. See. Everybody has a different time zone. My suggestion to you is that if, if you are in doing graduation or if you are even in the school and you are thinking of UPSC, the decision is very good. But for the preparation of UPSC, you must not ignore your graduation. Rather, you can be sincere with your graduation subjects. You can be sincere with your newspaper. And when the right time would come, when you become eligible to prepare for UPSC, you definitely will become capable to crack this examination and within the first attempt itself. But for UPSC, do not ignore your graduation that uh, you are not going to prepare or you are not going to attend your class or something like that. Please do not do this thing. But after the graduation, definitely after the attending the classes, you definitely can get five hours or six hours to prepare for UPSC. Now, being in graduation is a privilege in itself. It means you have like two hours or uh, two years or three years or something like that. And if you will simply consistently give those three, four hours or five hours and your weekend to UPSC, it is indeed possible that after completing your graduation, you will crack UPSC within the first attempt itself. The thing is that you will have to be sincere with UPSC thing. Many would be partying. You will have to ignore that party for the time being. Many would have been going for a movie. You will have to ignore those movies. Definitely it's some sacrifices you will have to make to crack this prestigious examination. So it is indeed possible to crack it in one year. Provided condition number one. You are consistent. This is very important thing that you are consistent because towards the end of the examination, you will definitely see many people. There are a lot of people 
when there is only one month left, they will say that if God gives me two months extra, I will break this examination like anything. Now, this type of things do happen. So you have one full year. Do whatever you want. Be consistent. Now, if you will be consistent in the end, you won't be saying this type of words. So it is very important. You will have to be consistent with your preparation. This is the number one thing that you must keep in mind if you want to crack this examination in one year. Because the moment you are not consistent, things will become very difficult for you. And this whole examination will slip out of your hands the moment even before you will actually realize it. Second thing, and this is a common thing among all the toppers who have qualified this examination in one way or the other. They have the good command over their syllabus. Now here you need to understand that now this is one of the things that can help you to prevent yourself from the misguidance also. Do not trust me. Do not trust others. Just think. If UPSC has given you a syllabus, there, then there must be some reason for the syllabus. I have seen many officers, future officers. They are attending the coaching. They are regular in their coaching. They are consistent in attending all the classes that the coachings are conducting. But they have never seen the syllabus. They have simply started reading. Whatever the teacher is teaching, they are reading, but they have never seen the syllabus. This is one of the biggest mistake that you will ever do in your preparation. Never, 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 ever ignore your syllabus. If UPSC has given you the syllabus, then there is a reason for that syllabus. I will discuss the importance of syllabus in the latter part of this session. But whatever UPSC writes, there is a logic behind that. And one of that thing is syllabus. You must always keep that syllabus thing with your hand, in your hand, and you must keep it in front of your eyes always during the whole course of your preparation. Even it is for prelims or for mains and even for the optional. Third thing. Now in the third thing, there are two things that is required. Either you get the right guidance, you get the right mentor. It can be any, your elder brother, a family member of yours who would have conducted, uh, who would have actually cracked this examination before, a friend of yours who would have actually cracked this examination or even some topper who might be running the channel. There are many good channels uh, by some toppers. They are running, they, they are doing very good work, definitely. So, you get the right person who has cracked this examination and they know the way and they are ready to show the way. You get the right guidance. So your time that you can waste in actually going in the wrong path that will be prevented. There is yet another second thing. Suppose you do not have that person. Then you can also create your own path. Provided first previous questions you will have to keep in mind. Second, syllabus you will always keep in mind and then on the basis of interlinking of syllabus and previous questions, you develop your, an understanding yourself that what exactly is the demand of UPSC. So either you get a mentor, a right person or you create the path yourself. There is no harm. See, if you are able to create the path yourself, there is no harm. <coughs> in creating it. <coughs> so, these three things are very important. Consistency, syllabus, right mindset through the right guidance or creating your own path. I will just give you an example. Uh, now, uh, this is not an UPSC example. This is my life only. It, it, it is about my life example only. I cracked the staff selection commission examination in just a matter of nearly two months with rank 37 in 2012. And I repeatedly cracked this examination and I got selected as assistant enforcement officer, letter excise inspector. 
and also the income tax inspector. I could crack it only because my elder brother, he cracked it before, and he didn't allow me to be lost in the voluminous material that was available in the market. He kept on insisting me, whenever I asked him to uh, let me buy some more books, he would always ask me, "If you have covered this, then revise this." <clears throat> he gave me schedule. each day he actually gave me a schedule that was that was the reason that i could crack this examination within nearly 2 months now this schedule made me efficient enough that i could crack it now in the upsc thing also if you what i am doing i am doing the same thing what my elder brother did with me now you know about a staff selection commission even that examination people are not able to crack within 2 years or 3 years this is upsc so a right schedule and preparing as per syllabus will lead you to selection my uh, our free marathon <coughs> or even the say the paid marathon that is actually working on those guidelines what i actually got in staff selection commission but in upsc i was not fortunate enough to get such a guidance so remember consistency schedule command over syllabus will lead you to selection now i was misguided i had lots of books i had lots of material there are too many people who i used to follow i used to see the videos of all the toppers i knew all their strategies i followed all and this was the biggest mistake that i ever did in my preparation and it cost me years i ask you not to do this mistake because the moment you will start following all the toppers you will end up following none because you cannot follow it all you will have to decide to whom you want to follow 1 2 3 fine not more than that and even 3 i am saying it is much more follow only one or two people and leave all the rest of the channels even you can leave this one also if you do not find it fruitful for your preparation my only message is that follow only one or two persons because every person journey is different every person strategy is different they will keep on sharing their own strategy i will keep on sharing my own strategy and you will end up following all the strategy with the result that you won't be getting any strategy this will be actually problematic and this is not going to help you in the preparation second thing is that you must not run behind a lot of books my bed was full of books for example i will uh, just say you like uh, say polity if you will read lakshmikant didi basu subhas kasyap ncrt and there are even more number of books that you can actually be knowing and if you read them all then what about the other subjects you won't be reading them definitely and if you will be reading them you won't be able to revise them and if you won't be able to revi revise them you won't be do doing good in polity it's better that you stick to lakshmikant at max ncrt that's it nothing more revise it as many times as you want give it as many readings as you want but no other book for polity so decide the limited number of books stick to that definitely match see your syllabus if those syllabus things are mentioned in your books or not and if it is given no that that is fine i am going to stick to that so this you must keep in your mind further before starting the preparation you must believe yourself believe in yourself because someone will say someone will come and say that it is not possible to do this examination in one year remember people will always give, give you 1000 reasons why it can't be done but people who say it can't be done they are usually interrupted by others doing it we get nearly 1000 selections or say 700 plus selections each year there are people who are doing so it can be done definitely it can be done but 
not all are able to do it so you will have to decide to whom are you going to trust to those who are saying that it can't be done all to those who do say that yes indeed it is a pos it is possible remember a year from now you will wish that you had started today so with this let us discuss the pattern of this upsc examination i hope i would, uh, would have discussed something that would have been relevant to you now i am just shifting this discussion to and uh, to make you enable to understand this the nuances of this examination and i am considering that not everybody is knowing much about this examination because this is a preliminary session you can say for this uh, examination thing so i will be discussing with all the stages then we will go for the syllabus then we will go for what are the mistakes more mistakes that we will be uh, doing so let us see what we have got so you can see this screen now let us understand the nuances of upsc examination i hope you must be able to see this now upsc examination is conducted in three stages stage 1 is prelims stage 2 is mains stage 3 is personality test now there is further subdivision at each stage except the last one which is stage 3 which is the personality test now stage 1 has two papers and this is called the preliminary stage there are two papers conducted in this stage paper 1 no commonly known as gs portion and paper 2 commonly known as cset cset is civil services aptitude test cut off is decided on the basis of your marks in paper 1 but you will become eligible for the cut off once you clear the minimum marks in paper 2 and the minimum marks that you must get in paper 2 is 66 marks or 33% these both papers the maximum marks is 200 uh, the maximum marks that you can get is 200 but in that firstly upsc consider your paper 2 marks if you get 66 marks then your score for paper 1 is counted and out of all the people who have actually crossed the cut off or the minimum marks in paper 2 then their scores of paper 1 is compared and after comparison upsc select a limited number of students who become eligible for this stage 2 which is mains now let us see the cut off now cut off all the trend analysis for prelims for 2000 13 the cut off was 241 out of 400 this year cset was counted in 2014 the cut off was 205 this year again cset was counted and it was a golden phase for the iitians especially all the engineering background students because they were good at cset they were good at maths they used to get good scores and ultimately they could easily clear the cut off they had to face a blow <clears throat> in 2015 when the cut off for the calculation of merit was cset score for calculation of merit was removed from this year from 2015 out of 200 the cut off was 107 marks and then in 2016 the cut off was 116 and then there is the decline regularly in the scores like in 2017 there is 105 marks then 2018 it is 98 2019 it is 98 in 2020 it is 92 and 2021 it is 87.5 for 2022 the cut off at sector is not known yet it is expected to be known sooner after clearing the stage 1 you come to stage 2 now this stage comes only after you clear the stage 1 and this stage 1 is said to be most unpredictable stage 
stage two you can take in your hands properly but for stage one you have to be very serious because here in hindi we call it tukka chal jata hai stage two mein tukka nahi chalta so for the stage two your knowledge whatever you developed throughout your preparation it will only help you your chances of elimination etc won't work in stage 2 it your your hunches that worked in stage 1 it is not going to work in stage 2 here this stage will see that you should actually have the knowledge you should actually have the knowledge about the syllabus and you are conversant with the upsc thing now this stage 2 has total of 9 papers and out of those 9 papers seven papers are counted for the merit list while the two are qualifying just like in stage 1 the c set was qualifying but in stage 2 there are two papers which are qualifying they are paper a and paper b in paper a you will have to select a language included in the eighth schedule to the constitution the paper is of 300 marks all you need is to get 75 marks to qualify it and in the paper 2 it is the english paper again you have to just get the 75 marks but do not take this paper lightly if you will take this paper lightly this paper will start taking you lightly do not do this mistake there each year there are few officers who fail in paper 1 or say paper a and paper b because they haven't given it a due attention so you must not ignore it but at the same time if you are sincere with paper a and paper b and you give it a minimum respect minimum respect is that for the last 15 days even if you read it you will be able to qualify it it's becomes it is very easy paper 75 score is very easy you can definitely get but for that you must make sure that you must not ignore this paper that is only that 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 only is required for this paper now coming to the next we have this these papers are counted for the merit now each paper will give you 250 marks we have paper 1 which is essay and then we have paper 2 and in common parlance we call it gs1 it is also 250 marks gs2 is also 250 marks same way gs3 gs4 250 marks and there are two paper of optionals which is total of 500 marks in paper 1 or gs1 it consist of the section of indian history culture world history and uh, geography of the world and the society second is the gs2 which is governance constitution polity social justice international relation third is technology economic development biodiversity environment security and disaster management gs4 is ethics paper it is ethics integrity and aptitude and finally the optional which plays a very important role in your selection so there is a list of a number of papers out of which you will have to decide one optional and this is overall of 500 marks and your mains merit is counted from 1750 marks now let us see the cut off of mains this is the trend analysis of mains this much you need to score for the personality test in 2013 the cut off was 562 since there was a change in pattern so the cut off was very low on the lower side then in 2014 the cut off increased to 678 there was high increase in 2015 it was similar 676 then 2016 787 2000 sorry 2016 it is 787 2017 it is 809 2018 it is 774 2019 it is 751 2020 736 2021 745 now you need to understand that this was the highest cut off of mains 809 marks now for getting a interview call you need to cross this much marks at least and since this is the highest not each year will people will be getting 809 marks minimum cut off but suppose see currently i am not discussing that uh, this 
final merit list i am not discussing i am simply discussing the main, on the basis of mains cut off that how much you should score that you can at least cross this suppose in gs1 gs2 gs3 gs4 you get in gs1 100 marks now 100 marks is near is only it is 40% only 40% you get in gs2 you get 100 marks in gs3 you get 100 marks and say in gs4 since its syllabus is properly defined all its syllabus are defined but its syllabus is you know well, uh, you can definitely write a better answer in gs4 so suppose you get 120 marks here in the essay you get 130 overall it becomes 550 and your optional out of 500 you just get 260 marks the total score will be 800 marks you can easily cut uh, clear this cut off consider second situation you get 100 marks in gs1 90 marks in gs2 90 marks in gs3 130 marks in gs4 and 130 marks in essay and 270 marks in optional again you will get 810 marks now this why i am saying because if you see it is very easy to get 100 or 110 marks out of 250 marks provided you are conversant with the syllabus if you understand your syllabus very well if you do enough writing practice you will definitely it's where it becomes very easy to cross this much score in your mains but you will have to be relevant and you have to be conversant you have to be very peculiar in your mains answer writing if you are relevant if you write relevant you will get the relevant marks how will you be able to write re relevant i will discuss after a short while after clearing the stage 2 you come to stage 3 which is the personality test it is of 275 marks so the cut off is decided on the basis of total about 2025 marks 1750 for mains and 275 for personality test we normally call it at the, at the interview marks now personality test also decides your rank but my point is that if you score enough in mains nobody is going to stop you from getting the final selection because in the personality test if you are good that is fine but you are going to be again judged by few personalities who will who are actually capable of judging you but they will be judging you on the basis of your performance in those 20 to 25 minutes so that actually the ball is not fully in your court but for the main thing which actually plays an important role in the selection it is 1750 marks if you do uh, very much bet if you do better in here say you get nearly 900 marks and it is indeed possible ira single ma'am had uh, crossed it so definitely in the stage 3 it would hardly matter in your final selection so your final merit since it is calculated on the basis of the stage 2 and stage 3 so i urge you to make stage 2 your strength so that personality test marks won't bother you definitely it will bother you in the end but if you will score enough in G, uh, in the stage 2 the personality test marks will hardly matter so try to score so much so in the stage 2 that your selection will not be at the hands of those bureaucrats who will be actually be judging you on the basis of 25 or 30 minutes now few commonly accepted facts and mostly agreed by all toppers in fact it is agreed by even me it is that you have to be very strong in essay ethics and optional most selections are dependent on these if you are good in essay if you are good in ethics and if you are good in optional there are maximum chances that you will get selection for gs1 to 3 candidates tend to score average in these papers but then there are exceptions as well so my point is that if you will prepare it uh, it so properly why you can't be that exception each year we get uh, the examples that people are getting 120 plus marks in gs 1 2 3 try to be in those list try to be listed uh, 
in the list of those who are actually getting the exceptional scores if one is getting anybody can get but for that you will have to be very strong in the syllabus you will have to be very strong with the previous questions now these are the marks of the toppers see the uh, gaurav agarwal sir in 2013 he topped the examination 975 was the his total score out of 2025 then ira single ma'am she got 1082 then tina dabi ma'am she got 1063 and then nandini kera ma'am then anudeep durishetty and this year shruti sharma uh, so anudeep sir he got 1126 this is the highest marks that ever has been got by any and if you see it is just 55.60% it is not even 60% not even the first division in your school you have a syllabus if you remain conversant with the syllabus it is definitely possible to reach here you can do it you will have to uh you will have to have a deep understanding of the syllabus my point is that if you manage to get above 1000 scores 1000 marks definitely it is indeed possible that your rank will be in the top 50 and remember this 1000 marks will include the interview marks too in fact this year my batchmate like rank 1 shruti sharma she got 1105 marks rank 2 ankita agarwal she got 1050 marks similarly as well yeah, he got 1039 marks and rank 49 divyans he got 1000 marks so if you will get above 1000 marks there are maximum chances that you will be able to be in the top 50 rank but then not everybody will get above 1000 score what are the reasons for this i have mentioned few of the reasons try to understand it it will help you to prioritize your decisions that what you should do during the course of your preparation first is there is loads of misguidance yes it is true you take a course on the basis of the pomp and so you take a course without knowing the eligibility or even without finding out what is the feedback of that institute you end up believing everything that is given in the hindu advertisements you end up believing everything that you see in the youtubes daily you end up believing everything that is being run in the telegram do not do that you will be playing with your career you must apply your mind and you must not be blind follower of anybody i repeat you must apply your mind and you must not be blind follower of anybody including me because the moment you will be believe every, uh, you will be become a blind follower of anybody you will start uh, stop applying your mind make a right choice <clears throat> do not fall in the trap of advertisement strategy not all claims are true there is and there can be no substitute for self study save yourself from such videos whereby people are predicting that 80 questions or something like that say more than 50 questions i predicted from 2000 i predicted for 2022 out of 2021 paper these type of claims are being run in the youtube videos and at any uh, at every places they keep on claiming the things and you they will give you all the logics and you end up trusting all the logics now for the in the post analysis try to understand that <coughs> suppose the paper is out and there is yet another paper i come to you i will show you all the googles and all i will show the see i just took the term i googled it and this is link as this is link this is link and it is looking so logical to you you will end up trusting but post analysis is definitely easy why can't you give those questions before the before actually the examination and let us see do not believe those prediction videos upsc's paper is set by the brightest mind of india brightest because they are looking for the brightest candidates because they are looking for those 
who will actually run this country the bureaucrat the future bureaucrat the cabinet secretary will be out of an is officer how can a person who is dependent upon the prediction be given entry in labasna they are looking for the talent they are looking for the merit they are not looking for the people who actually trust each and everything apply your mind my only point is that use your mind before accepting any claim to be true not all claims are true apply your mind do not be a blind follower do not be a blind follower of me also if a thing is working you have a good feedback you have know the seniors who would have taken the coaching from a particular institute take their feedback what is your feedback how is it should i go or something like that and if you know that they are the trusted fellows then only trust them also and prepare accordingly the best thing that you can trust first is you second is syllabus third is previous questions trust others only after this th uh, this three things first is you your syllabus previous questions because that is actually upsc demanding minimize the resources do not run behind too much material minimize the resources you need to draw a boundary if you do not draw a boundary for material that can be the sole recipe of non selection so you will have to decide a, uh, a book and then stick to it revise it 10 times not a problem each time you will learn something out of it third thing is the consistency now this is a rare quality upsc examination does not demand seriousness rather it demands sincerity chetan bhagat says don't be serious be sincere now uh there was a question in our channel that one of the student amongst you i don't know whether he or she might be attending the session also uh they asked me sir what is the meaning of uh, what is the difference between seriousness and sincerity now sincerity is suppose there is a target you have set a target suppose the target is given by me or you set a target for your schedule tomorrow so your sincerity will ask you to prioritize your schedule or prioritize your target of completing the whatever your is your target of completing that before you do anything else that is simply the sincerity but what happens suppose you are not able to complete the target a sincere student will again get up next day complete his new targets will see the backlog yes this 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 i have the backlog and then he will come back and he will again complete the backlog that will be sincerity a serious student what he will do shit oh my god i haven't completed the targets now i am going oh my god i am going i am i am having too much headache i am not able to complete the target usne kar liya he have done that this is the seriousness don't be that kind of serious person not each day you will be able to complete the target but if you st stand up each day i mean to say if you fell down yesterday stand up each day that is all you can do be sincere with your targets that's it this target can be given by me this target can be set by you all you need is to have to set uh, is to have a schedule then there is that lack of revisions now one reason of lacking of revision is that we tend to read a lot but when it comes to revision we tend to postpone it and after 2 3 months it become new so revision is important and it you have to revise what you read at right intervals now if you don't revise it will lead to lack of confidence there will be fear there will be confusion it will lead to non selection <coughs> because ultimately <clears throat> what you read two uh, two months before that is also important na and if that is important and you have forgotten what is the meaning of reading that but if you have to remember how will you remember that only through the revision revision will enable you to learn each time you read that it will able to consolidate what you read in the last time at it will enable you to produce the right 
<coughs> answer when that one is asked in the examination and more revisions will help you to develop the interlinking you will start linking each topic after more and more revisions this interlinking you won't be able to do if you will read a lot of books instead if you will read the same book again and again you will develop interlinking in a much better manner so revision is important now there is lack of proper planning and guidance now remember this is competition no planning will make the things unmanageable and you will end up as failure but at the same time a right plan will enable you to get the selection now even in the free marathon what i do i simply plan the things for you it's only you who read in the free marathon what way i did if when i started the free marathon there there was a lot of excitements many people uh, it's what more than 200 people they were actually following but in the end but how many actually actually followed due to non consistency they left in between whatsoever the reason but even in amongst them many followed and this year you will see a lot of selections in the prelims examination i will give you the, uh, give you the news after 20th may so this planning and guidance is being done by me in the free marathon even there is a paid marathon so you must not ignore the targets that i give in the marathon and if you do not want to follow the marathon also there is no problem in that because the ultimate purpose is the selection whose selection it's your selection that will matter so make a target for yourself and then stick to it simple do not listen to the third person you know your house better i know mine better you can set a better target set a target stick to it there is nothing better than that but then make a proper target with an adequate equally spaced revisions for that also now there is also a reason for non selection that is the over confidence some academically brilliant students they also fail to crack this upsc civil services for example engineering students they tend to ignore the csat and in the end csat ignores them again i want to say one thing that if you are not from iit or aims it doesn't mean that you can't reach the labasna in fact most of the selections are out of iits definitely being in iit it is good that they were good in maths or the science subject but upsc is uh, not looking for a stat statistician it is looking for a person who can administer this country who can be the part of the administration and who can aid the administration in one way or the other so you do not need to be an iit and an average student normally qualifies upsc in a much better way you can say what i want to say that if you will go on and see the academics of all the toppers who have actually qualified this examination in most of the cases they are actually the average students they are not the brilliant students they are the average students who understood that being consistent will take them to labasna so if you are an average student nothing to worry labasna is yours if you can be consistent with your dreams so you must understand that you must not be over confident but definitely if you are in from iit or you are from aims then that can definitely aid you because csat will at least don't hamper you but do not be over confident poor grip over upsc syllabus you have you keep reading this i already discussed bit but you never see the syllabus upsc adheres to this syllabus so it is necessary that syllabus is given due importance i will discuss the syllabus after the, just after a while so one thing that is common common amongst all toppers is that they have a good grip over the upsc syllabus and lastly uh before discussing this let us uh, discuss a bit more about upsc syllabus all i want to say is that during the course of your preparation keep the print out of the syllabus always with you always it should be always with you in front of your study table whenever you read the topic see the see your syllabus that that whether it is relevant for the syllabus and if it is actually explicitly given then to what depth should i prepare 
this you will understand from pyqs also upsc is not looking for a specialist they are looking for a generalist who have a general knowledge in nearly everything for that they have given you the syllabus now choosing the wrong optional now this is also a cause of failure in the is examination most candidates for different reasons they choose the optional subject ill suited to their interest and knowing now they what they do now uh, they simply uh, see the marks like say suppose a topper got 350 marks now they will keep on running there there was a topper in upsc she got uh, more than 350 marks in anthropology so people started running behind it she got she had the interest but that that doesn't mean that you can also get unless you have the interest in that so your interest will matter so choose a optional where your interest lies do not see the success rate like say in uh, sociology it's shown 10 to 14% or in anthropology something like that or there are few optionals where it is shown that it is less than 5% at least that is 5% then somebody is getting selected now they choose the optional based on the basis of their interest you choose the optional on the basis of your interest not the basis of the word how the toppers are actually performing because if you are not interested in the optional if you are not interested in studying that subject you will end up running away from that optional many choose the philosophy for that reason but once you start studying philosophy you will come to know that short syllabus is not actually helping you it is actually disastrous so you will have to make a choice on the basis of your interest that which optional you should choose now you have the time for that so take a decision on the basis of that only give one month not a problem but decide the right optional and if what if now next question is what if you do not have the interest in any optional then you can simply do the thing like you know at least you are good in maths portion or something like the arts portion then amongst them the in the arts section yeah, sociology is a good optional even anthropology is a good optional even psir is a good optional even pubad is a good optional so you can choose these type of optionals which have the lower syllabus if you have a scientific background like you have liking for the scientific background somewhat uh, liking you can geography is a good optional so choose the evergreen optional which are generally chosen instead of uh, be the be the like one man person in that optional don't do that if you do not have the you know if you do not have the interest at all choose it on the basis of what marks you got in 10th or 12th something like that if you got the good marks in math it means you can do good in maths and if you got got good marks in social science it means might be you will be able to do in that so make a radical make a right choice on the basis of the interest that you have in or else choose the evergreen optional definitely you can do that now let us discuss this syllabus now this is the syllabus upsc prelim syllabus they have clearly written current affairs of national and international importance history of india indian national movement indian and world geography physical social economic geography of india and the world indian polity and governance constitution political system panchayati raj pub policy issues public policy rights issues economic and social development sustainable development poverty inclusion demographics social sector initiative etc general issues on ec environment ecology biodiversity and climate change that see here it is written that do not require subject specialization and general science now this is the syllabus of prelims and if you see current affairs is written at number 1 but we tend to give too much of importance to the current affairs that we end up ignoring history geography polity economy even the general science do not do that mistake for the prelims this is one of the reason that if you see the distribution of the marks related to the various sections current affairs definitely has a role but it has a limited role 
equally important is your history portion equally important is your world history portion or uh, sorry uh, the indian and world geography indian polity is definitely important equally important in this so you should give adequate importance to these things not only these and yeah definitely in when you are reading economic and social development the current developments related to economy and social development they can definitely be asked that is a different thing again this is the csat syllabus like comprehension interpersonal skills logical reasoning analytical ability decision making problem solving general mental ability basic numeracy data interpretation i will be sharing this pdf with you in the channel you can definitely see it now coming to the main syllabus see why i am showing you the main syllabus you will come to know that how relevant is the main syllabus for the prelims this i will also show you while i will be discussing the main syllabus <clears throat> you know one thing that art and culture is the one of the very important section these days for the prelims second thing you know is that modern history is very important for the prelims and medieval india has a very 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 limited role each topper they will read the medieval india in the end only see the syllabus of mains where is medieval india medieval india is missing this gets reflected in the prelim syllabus also because those who have framed the prelim syllabus they actually have framed the main syllabus i am repeating those who have framed the prelim syllabus they actually have framed the main syllabus so they give importance they will only write those things in the main syllabus to which they are actually giving the importance and those things which you consider important you will keep on considering them as important so this is happening in prelims also you will see limited uh, questions of medieval medieval india each and every person agrees that you must look for medieval india in the end and there are many toppers who never see the medieval india but even in the main syllabus as you see medieval india is missing so medieval india is actually trying to find if it is of any relevance in the prelim syllabus after that this is post independence this is not mentioned in the prelim prelim syllabus not important it is only important for the main syllabus world history main syllabus salient features of indian society diversity of india role of women this is mostly related to the main syllabus population can be important for the prelims poverty and development issues definitely it is important for the prelims urbanization and their problems etc this is important for the mains mainly effect of globalization and this one now this portion is most mainly important from the mains uh, for the mains point of view but after that like salient features of world physical geography distribution of key natural resources factors factors important for the location of primary secondary and tertiary important geophysical phenomena earthquake tsunami and this now this is important for your prelims as well means so my point is that while preparing for the prelims also you must give a special focus to those portions which are explicitly important uh, given in mains and they can be re relevant for the prelims also perhaps this is the region uh, region that why they keep asking the questions about the monsoon in one year or the other monsoon la nina and etc this is important now this is the one of the feature of indian physical geography or you can say even in the world physical geography this one is one of the important phenomena so this you must understand that you must have a very good command over your main syllabus now coming to main syllabus gs2 constitution of india historical underpinning evolution features amendment significant provisions and basic structure functions and responsibilities of the union and states etc etc parliament and state legislature structure functioning conduct of business this 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 up to the uh, appointment to various constitutional post power functions and various constitutional bodies statutory regulatory and various quasi judicial bodies up to this now this is remain very relevant for the prelims portion see this is the main portion but they, if you see it most of the questions they are actually asking from this uh, portion only in the prelims also you can pick up the question of previous years you will come to know that how relevant is the main syllabus for the prelims syllabus
So my point is that while reading Lakshmi Kant, when these portions will come, you must keep in your mind that you will have to prepare it in terms of mains also and definitely in terms of prelims also. So you must give a special focus to these portion when you will be actually preparing for the prelims <clears throat> and definitely for the mains. Then comes the government policies. <clears throat> and interventions for the development in various sectors and issues around arising out of designs and implementation development process. Now see this welfare scheme for vulnerable section of the population by center and the states. After that, the mechanisms, law, institutions, bodies, etc. for the protection and betterment of these vulnerable section. Now one time or the other, they ask, they have asked question from this section also. Health, education, human resource. It remains very important from prelims point of view. Issues related to poverty and hunger. See, poverty is so much important. Poverty and developmental issues. Issues related to poverty and hunger. Poverty is so much important that they have given it two times. So you, you must give very much importance to this poverty and hunger thing. In that, in this section, there are e-governance applications such as UPI. They have asked the question. So, like this, uh, simply you, uh, I mean to say what I, uh, whatever the initiative that they take for the e-governance applications, you must prepare it properly. It can be asked anytime by the UPSC. And when you come to the GS portion, to this portion, India and its neighborhood relation, bilateral, regional, global grouping and agreements involving India and affecting India's interest. Now see, they have clearly mentioned bilateral regional and global groupings and agreements involving India or affecting India's interest. Now there can be many bilateral uh, groupings which out of which India has no concern. UPSC never asked those. They are only concerned of those which are affecting India's interest because if you will keep on preparing each and every bilateral agreement, you will be lost in the IR section itself. So they are only concerned about, about those groupings which are affecting India's interest. Again, the effect of policies and politics of developed and developing countries on India's interest and then international institutions, agencies, forums, their structure and mandate. And if you see the current affairs questions, if you see the current affairs questions, you will come to know that they are actually asking uh, this person time and again. In the current affairs question, maximum weightage now they are giving is to IR, like the members of the G20. They have asked. Going on that line, we must be knowing about the members of at least SCO, SARC, BIMSTEC, and such institutions, Quad, I2U2, etc. So, what I want to say that your main syllabus has a very much relevance in your prelim syllabus. You must not ignore the main syllabus. Prepare your UPSC syllabus, UPSC prelim syllabus, keeping in mind the instructions that are given in mains. Because these are the, they are the professors, they are the people who have actually given the instruction, who have actually framed this thing. Uh, now, there are few people who actually want to speak. Uh, I will let you, uh, I will allow you to speak. Uh, not, uh, not everybody, but I will definitely allow you to speak in the end. Uh, please wait for some time. Okay, now coming to the GS3 syllabus. See, Indian economy and issues related to planning. Now, this is uh, clearly written. Technology, economic development, biodiversity, environment, security, disaster management. See this portion. Indian economy and issues related to planning, mobilization of resources, growth, development, and employment. Government budgeting, inclusive growth. Now, this, is, this section is very important from the prelims point of view also. So when you are preparing it, prepare as per prelims also. Major cropping patterns. They keep on asking about the cropping conditions such as like, uh, say, uh, once they had asked about this tea or coffee. Uh, I'm just um, um, missing it. It, it. it was asked within these two years only or 2021 or 22. So they keep on asking about the cropping patterns. They keep uh, they have asked the questions about the PDS. So they have they keep on asking about the technology mission. They keep on asking about the e-technology in the aid of farmers. So this is important for your prelims point of view. So whatever the portion of the main syllabus which are relevant for the prelims, you must not ignore that. Coming to science and tech. In the science and tech portion of prelims, you know one thing. 
that they keep they ask the question from the current developments you might be knowing who are preparing again you know the thing that they uh, the nanotechnology biotechnology space it etc is important see the main syllabus science and tech development and the application and effect in everyday life this is actually the prelim syllabus indigenization of technology and developing new technology achievement of indians and now see here awareness of field in the space of it space computers robotics nanotechnology biotechnology and issues related to ipr now they have time and again asked the, the question from this section again and again science and tech question they are actually asking from the uh, about, they are actually asking from the application of this portion only so this is actually your prelims as well as the main syllabus not only the prelims syllabus so you must not ignore this one now see conservation that is important for the prelims environmental pollution and degradation that is again important for prelims so what i idea i want to convey to you is that you must not ignore the main syllabus while preparing for the prelim syllabus then this portion actually uh, the rest of the portion it do comes from the in this like uh, linkage among development and spread of extremism etc these are the internal security issue this is relevant for the prelims point of uh, sorry this is relevant from the mains point of view not the prelims point of view and the, perhaps this is the only paper gs4 which is completely re relevant for the main syllabus and not the prelims syllabus so how can you do the integrated preparation the idea is simple see this in the prelims portion when you are uh, preparing this one suppose you are leading this at the same time prepare the prelims portion of this keep it together in the world history when you are preparing this keep the syllabus in mind and even in the ge the geography portion is spread in gs3 like major cropping patterns it is the portion of geography economic geography and something like that like issues related to direct and indirect farm subsidies etc msp etc food processing related industries so gs1 and 3 portions are uh, actually relevant for your prelims uh, syllabus also like indian polity now this portion nearly half 50% paper 2 is actually relevant for your polity section like public policy rights issue plus social sector initiatives now this portion is rele relevant for the gs2 like government policies and intervention because what will you read here you will actually read this welfare schemes issues related to like health education issues related to like poverty hunger etc when it will come to economic uh, environmental ecology biodiversity and climate change that do not require subject explanation you definitely should give more focus to conservation environmental pollution degradation and that is why Well, they uh, keep on asking questions about the pollution. Environmental impact assessment remains very important. Now, when the general science comes, I have clear just now explain explain that you should keep it in mind. Like in the current affairs, this thing also I explained. And so this is the minimal overlapping syllabus that you actually do. I have uh, mentioned I will share this PDF. It uh, might help you to categorize at least. so okay so i have just now discussed the syllabus with you and i have also showed you that uh, how important it is your syllabus how important your syllabus is my point is that if you are preparing for 2024 do not get misguided be consistent with your preparation you will get to feel like uh, you will always feel like my friends are parting do not worry one day they will think ki kas humne iske jaisi padhai kar li hoti i hope i would have prepared as per my friend who had actually prepared so you must not worry about that and people who say that wo lucky tha that person was lucky who because uh, that person was lucky because, uh, since since he could crack this upsc examination i just simply want to say that luck happen to those who make things happen most sports they are not played on the field they are played in the mind now upsc is the same if you will not trust yourself then why upsc will you will have to trust yourself and while learning a thing 
यू मस्ट ब्रेक एंड रिमूव योर ईगो द बिगेस्ट रोड ब्लॉक टू लर्निंग इज ईगो सामने वाला हमें क्या सिखा सकता है वॉट द पर्सन इन फ्रंट कैन टीच मी आई नो एवरीथिंग दिस इज द बिगेस्ट रोड ब्लॉक टू ईगो इवन द ग्रेटेस्ट टीचर्स दे रिमेन स्टूडेंट थ्रू आउट दूर लाइफ सो इवन यू विल लाइक इवन दूर नो द नेम ऑफ अर्जुना ही वॉज अ स्टूडेंट ऑफ यू नो मतलब ही वॉज ऑल्सो ए ग्रेट स्टूडेंट टू बिफोर बिकेम बिकमिंग अ ग्रेट आल्चर so upsc journey is like that only you will have to remove your ego you will have to be strong very uh, you have will have to be strong mentally and once we you succeed people will see only your success but remember if you fail they will only see your failure also so but for success simply follow these mantras do not look for all save yourself from his guidance do some sacrifices you will need to do some sacrifices definitely you uh, you will have to avoid some parties i do not say that you avoid all the parties there is no harm in that you can definitely uh, avoid some of the parties but you do not need to avoid all the parties but make it a target that once i will achieve this one then only i will party i have set a target for 10 days i will finish this target and then one full day 11th day it is going to be a party party and party there is a famous hindi song abhi to party shuru hui hai something like that make your schedule like that you do not need to uh, give your 100% each day but whenever you giving your uh, like uh, whenever you are preparing then give your 100% what we do now we have become uh, we have become a person who actually always we are doing multitasking this is actually problematic i will explain you, uh, you with an example while eating the food we have the habit of seeing the shorts we have habit of seeing the movies while talking to your mother you will be having the habit of uh, seeing the laptop also kuch chhoot to nahi gaya while studying you are studying and you have the habit of thinking about वो वो पार्टी कर रहा होगा दैट पर्सन मस्ट बी पार्टिंग ही इज ही डूइंग अदर स्टफ ही इज स्मोकिंग समथिंग लाइक दैट वॉट एवर थिंग्स दैट डू अट्रैक्ट यू स्टॉप दिस मल्टी टास्किंग वेन यू आर स्टडिंग ओनली स्टडी वेन यू आर एक्सरसाइजिंग डू ओनली एक्सरसाइज वेन यू आर ईटिंग फूड ईट द फूड ओनली when you are talking to your mom talk to her only give her due respect and due importance and when you are partying do the only only do the party no st- uh, studies should come in between live life uh, live a life like that for next one year and you will find yourself in labasna but that is only possible if you stop this multitasking multitasking is good but only in limited number of cases we are not living actually live don't stop living a multiple lives before going to sleep we have a habit of scrolling uh, one thing you must remove actually seeing the habit of shorts we have a habit of swiping 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 stop this habit because you do not know you will not know actually but this shorts taking activity it will actually take your whole day you will not uh, you will actually be actually consuming the data to make the others people rich they are making the sort so that you can consume your time in uh, seeing those things that is the, the whole target and you are actually a prey for them you are actually a victim for them you are actually a consumer for them do not fall in the trap they are earning money out of that they are earning money by wasting your time but you are getting nothing by wasting your time you can do all these things once you get selected but stop this multitasking when you are studying only study when you are preparing or when you are exercising do only exercise and same thing when you are do, uh, talking to family talk to them only when you are partying then do only party now there is a temporary discomfort in doing the unconventional but there is permanent discomfort in living life as a template path won't be easy you will have to set a schedule you have to sacrifice your party 
others would be making a boyfriend or girlfriend you will end up spending the time with lakshmi kant mr ram lakshmi kant mr r s sharma but believe me my friends it is worth it some day they will come and say kas humne iske jaisa kar liya i hope you would have followed him we would have studied like them do not waste your youth in unproductive things these things these things are called in general terms the distraction but this distraction will take you nowhere and even if you want to be distracted get selected and remain distracted for a lifetime but not before than that this preparation will demand your your sincerity prepare and you must avoid the negative people it is better to be alone than in the wrong company avoid the negative people who say it cannot be done a selected person will never say you that but a person who have failed many times he will keep on saying that it can't be done they will give you 1000 reasons that it can't be done you should have the strong reason why it can be done remember a person is not the product of his circumstances but he is the product of his decisions so you will have to take a decision and you will have to take a strong decision that why are you actually willing to give your time for this upsc preparation after that see uh, there is one question uh, that is generally asked how to make notes i have already shared a simple thing uh, in the channel i will again share that um, post and there are people who ask me this uh, when to start the answer writing i just simply want to say answer writing start if you want to start it start it after one or two months after you have covered a, um, a substantial portion say you have covered geography one month or uh, one and half month or two months it will take at max after that you can definitely start the answer writing nothing harm in that but do not start it from day one you can't if you do not know the things what will you write and see if you will start developing the answer writing the content will only change only content will change structuring won't change actually because once you understand you will start understanding that what this question is actually asking you will understand it for each question simply the for the history portion you will be writing the content of history for the geography portion you will be writing the content of geography for the polity portion you will be writing the content of polity and for the ethics portion you will be writing the um, that uh, for the ethics portion you will be writing the content of ethics but the structuring will remain same you will understand the question once you understand the question you will definitely write all the questions with the change in content so my um, suggestion is that start uh, answer writing but only after one or two you, you have spread one or two months or you have, you have actually completed one portion say geography you have finished start your answer writing you do not need to write each and every day if you do not uh, you will uh, learn you can write it alternate days or on the third day or even you can make your sunday like i will write on sunday or no matter what in 3 months you will get a lot you will see a lot of improvement in yourself so this was all from my part for this discussion uh, if anybody of you wants to share something or ask uh, see uh, due to limit i have taken much of your times uh, so i will be allowing you uh, you can raise your hand uh, i will be allowing you one by one like 10 15 20 people i will be allowing because limited time i have uh, so let's see we have manish hello yes manish i have unmuted you you can speak please unmute your mobile uh manish he disappeared perhaps his network was not right so triggered i am allowing you you can speak triggered good good evening sir i have to ask answer writing will be the part of free marathon or not sorry uh, can you repeat your question answer writing will be the part of free marathon or not i have this question uh see uh, for the ethics thing i i will be giving the daily questions i am trying that i will bring the answer writing also for the gs portion it is yet to be decided for the ethics definitely there will be free answer writing program and i try to make sure that uh, all the copies are checked but uh, due to limited time not all copies are possible to be checked so i have set a target like 10 copies daily but we make sure that whose copies we check on day 1 we don't check them on day 2 so that others also get the chance 
but for gs123 i am trying to bring the free evaluation for this uh, gs123 questions also it's in the plan let's see uh, it depends upon the time okay sir thank you you are welcome okay uh, neel neel i have unmuted you you can speak sir my question is i have done with my gs syllabus uh neel uh, can you uh, move your mouth a bit away from your this mic hello hello yeah neel same so my question is i have done with my gs syllabus so how should i go for one year revise it practice it if you have completed your gs syllabus do as many revisions as you can do all the previous questions of the prelims and mains practice as much as you can be um, uh, like be regular with your newspaper thing that's it that is all you can do you are already having an edge sir i have one more question every day the thing i target set a target and at the end of the day i couldn't complete at all and when i consulted with my friend he said that the target was overwhelmed but when i saw the target i can i saw that i i have done it in previous days so what should i do with that see the reason can be many that you might be setting the uh, uh, more target it can also be the case second thing the reason can be you are not actually studying with full attention like i said we tend to st- the book is in our front but we are not actually studying other things or thoughts are also coming in my mind, mind uh, in our mind so you need to understand that what is actually what is the reason now that is a very specific case uh, in your uh, in your case you need to decide it yourself only nobody can actually give you the exact reason because you only you know what you are thinking while studying neel okay okay neel uh, any other question no sir thank you okay welcome okay swati i am allowing you swati tomar uh, please unmute your mic hello sir hello how to deal with current affairs newspaper no substitute you must not ignore the newspaper plus only one magazine any magazine you like at best if you want to club it you can club it with yojana that's it nothing more do not look for more and more magazines one magazine you can manage okay sir any other question okay okay so we have stella regina yes good stella evening, good evening sir first of all thank you very much for the nice uh, webinar sir honestly today i realized there are so many intricacies in all of whatever you explained since so many days just reading the syllabus without even understanding the integration part of with prelims and mains today i realized it so thank you for it sir you are welcome coming to my co- uh, question sir uh, regarding ncert as i'm about to start now how much time is it right to dedicate for ncert is like how much should be the time duration how many months or so uh see normally ncert can be completed in 2 3 months but it depends some person will be able to finish the ncert in one month some person will even take more than 3 months there is no fixed time actually because each person is unique your understanding of ncert is unique your capability and your intellectual capacity is different from mine so that time is good in which you are actually able to understand and if the question is asked and you are then you able to reproduce that is actually that actually matters 
nothing else matters so you need to decide it for yourself because you are a unique person and everybody is a unique person so if suppose i give a timeline that no you have to finish it within 2 months but you are not just for finishing it for 2 months you are not reading the ncert sincerely and you you are simply bypassing the chapters then the, again that will be of no use to you so on the basis of your understanding of ncert you decide and definitely you should try that sooner the better as soon as possible you can finish if you can finish in 15 days what is better than that yes sir yes sir so another question sir so regarding newspapers since i'm just starting now is it right to read all the articles which is there in the editorial section or in the world news sites sir no there are some relevant articles there are some irrelevant articles also i will be sharing a write up uh, in the near future regarding like uh, which editorials which type which kind of articles you have to avoid not all news are important only those news are important which are actually relevant for your syllabus also if you will see the like say the political news there is a news on the political development in tamil nadu suppose i am just giving an example that is a totally poli uh, total political news it is written about the parties over there and something like that uh, tussle between the local parties and all that article can be relevant only when it has some administrative all the federal implications else that article is not important that is a political development that happens in every state so that thing you will be able to decide once once you understand your syllabus well beside that if there is masala news you can avoid there are some masala news in the international column also so masala news definitely you should entertainment type of news you should definitely avoid and uh, something like that like murders news and all but reports if there is some report from ncrb or suppose say there is the online crime related to women and there is a report regarding that and there is an editorial regarding that you should definitely see you will get to uh, remember uh, you know get to see the many beautiful lines regarding that also i still remember uh, uh, one be very beautiful line actually and i had used it wherever i got the chance uh this i read 4 5 years back in the hindu a nation which cannot ensure a women of its bodily integrity cannot be called as a developed or the developing nation it is running much backwards i read it in the editorial and this this word actually bodily integrity that was that was a very beautiful word that actually you, you can use your answers to write a good essay or good uh, you can say a good answer even so uh, this thing this thing you will actually develop when you will be reading the newspaper regularly thank you sir thank you sir you are welcome okay sudhir i have allowed sudhir please unmute yourself sudhir Hello. yeah sudhir Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Ah, uh, actually, I had a problem with revision, sir. Ah, uh, currently yeah. I am going. Ah, uh, currently I am going through the GS two. While reading, okay. I'm I'm very comfortable with the topic. After reading the topic, ah, uh, after two to three days, I'm getting the difficulty for re ah uh, revising the things. And second thing was interlinking the current affairs with the static portion. this was actually my problem sir what would be the better way for the revision and interlinking the static portion with the current affair see for the revision portion what you can uh, do na suppose you read something what i do you revise it the very next day this i follow in the free marathon and paid also uh first of all you revise it the very next day because that is the best time that you can revise bec uh, because the things you had just read the previous day make it a habit that you start your day with the revision so first revision revision should be done on the date uh, on the next day itself then you simply make a note of it that yes i have revised it on this day revisit that thing after a week or say 10 days and then again revisit that thing after a month you can go on increasing the time but by, by the end of the year you will see that you have done more than 10 revisions and you will be remembering each and everything 
now once you will revise actually a lot of uh, revise it actually a lot of times interlinking will actually develop automatically because what is interlinking the interlinking is actually the understanding of a particular topic if you have a proper understanding if you are able to understand it from the different dimensions then you can de definitely interlink the topics but if you do not have an understanding of the various dimensions you cannot interlink moreover while uh, reading the no uh, newspaper you can also make the notes uh, in the notes making what you can do now you can make the notes as per your syllabus you can write and but but in the if you are doing that you make sure that you do not write each and everything that is uh, written in the newspaper do not write a newspaper out of newspaper simply the pointers just one two points or three points or four points just the pointers or the headings because we you will only remember that in the end and out of that you will have to frame a an answer keep revising that and if suppose you are forgetting something as i say after the third day revision you are seeing that oh i am just forgetting this simply google it that time but you do not need to write an explanation there itself thank you sir you are welcome sudhir okay so we have shweta i am allowing you to speak shweta please unmute yourself hello sir good evening good evening shweta thank you sir for the wonderful session thank you yes sir sir my first question is uh, i have uh, completed the core subjects like the core gs subject once so uh, from the next month that is from the june i am planning to uh, like start uh, gs wise like uh, start making main specific notes so sir is it advisable that just after reading one time like i have read the one i have read the sources once for uh, polity economy and environment the core gs so is it advisable that after reading once i can start making notes main specific uh, i won't recommend because initially during the first reading everything seems to be important to us so we what we do now we end up making a very bulky notes because we you uh, you will feel like no this is also important this is also important and you will write it in your paper you will end up writing everything you want to make notes that is fine but do that after uh, two or three readings of that particular topic then you make the notes not in the first reading okay okay sir so i can start revising like the subject Revise. wise again okay so sir along with revision i can start answer writing also right i mean i have yeah, definitely you can chunk. definitely yeah oh, okay Uh, so that is first the second is regarding uh, sociology optional uh, so sir uh, when uh, we complete one one topic sir uh, like uh, should i uh, write answers after one topic or after completing the entire paper one should i start writing answers write the answer of uh, in the case of thinkers in sociology like say suppose you um, you have read about the karl marx you can write the answer after reading the, about the karl marx and say suppose you have finished the weber then you can write the, about the weber but for the other portions like the other units like suppose the unit one like modernity and something like that and um, sociology and common sense complete a unit then write all the, the questions related to that unit then complete a unit unit to write the questions related to that unit for the thinker portion however for each thinker after completing that particular thinker then you write about that Okay, okay, sir. So the last question is regarding uh, PYQ analysis. So, sir, uh, like as uh, I, I'll be attempting next year. So, uh, is it like according to you, like for analysis of uh, PYQ prelims, should I analyze uh, during the January to uh, uh, that uh, January from starting from January, or should, should I start analyzing uh, right now, like from next month itself, like the PYQs? Uh See, uh, first of all, uh, tell me one thing: that have you completed the sociology syllabus once? Uh, no, sir. No, I'll start from no. June, sir. Okay. So, how will you actually analyze? It's better you buy the analysis of uh, uh, those publications who would have at actually at least arranged the questions as per the, their understanding in other particular topics. You can do that. You can buy those analysis, and 
but there are i have seen them there are, there, are, there are many publications they have actually uh, placed the question at that place where they should not have placed that but simply they have seen the topic and they simply placed that particular question but in 80% of the cases they are right in placing the questions so you can use it for the idea but initially do not create your own analysis you do it only after completing the syllabus and reading the full syllabus you will actually understand that where this question should be placed properly do this for 10 years that is fine okay sir and what about prelims sir i'm asking about prelims specifically prelims you can buy any analysis that is good in the market you can even use my analysis or uh, like uh, if there is good publications you can definitely buy those also if they are matlab uh, if there is good analysis available you can definitely purchase those okay 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 sir okay. Yeah. thank you sir yeah you are welcome okay ravi kiran reddy i have unmuted good you good evening sir good evening ravi how are you good sir thank you for giving me time sir yeah sir, please actually i completed my online co coaching this is last month sir i like i have done with one time covering the syllabus i want to get into 2024 sir i am planning to take the like i am getting confused on, like i am doing correct revision or not in planned way or not i am confusing and losing confidence sir so i am thinking to take up paid marathon will it helpful for me sir like you are telling it will be started from the basics yeah definitely it is starting from the basics it is like uh, from the basics to the advanced and it is it will really helpful even free marathon has been helping the students paid marathon uh, will also do very good uh, because in that i will be giving my own analysis uh, itself yes, i sir, uh, sir, like me students who are completed their coaching or will you take uh, everyone is new without any knowledge see uh, i set up my targets on the basis of considering that the student is new Okay. But I keep it manageable, and with the time, see, current like the, in the current marathon that is running, the there is the warm up phase that is going on. Slowly, the targets will be increased because somehow I will be completing the whole syllabus by December. You might have completed the syllabus, no problem in that. Suppose I have given you the target and you have finished the target, that is fine. After finishing the target, you can uh, do more revisions that you would have studied before. you can make a better use of your time the only advantage that you will be getting since you have completed the syllabus before that you will be completing those targets in say 5 hours instead of those targets being completed by the other student who might have been uh, completing it in 8 hours right yes, this advantage you will be getting but in the extra time what you can do you can revise your optional you can practice your optional you can uh, do something about essay you can do something thing about c set and do you have to, you will uh, not have to worry anything about the mains gs portion as well as the prelims gs portion because that is my uh, that is my responsibility and by the by december in either way i will be completing every subject uh, gs 1 2 3 4 with full revisions practice etc and after that there will be free entrance like in the prelims specific preparation they will be again started and after that we will again start the mains specific uh, preparation so being a part of that that particular marathon what uh, uh, it will give you na it will give you a group for discussion there uh, the uh, because that team works as an organic whole you get to discuss um, you get a new com whole community in itself because i uh, for the paid marathon what i have done na i have created one channel and one group a channel where only i can post a group where you can also post you can discuss your questions you can message me also and you can discuss amongst your friends also who are actually the part of the batch yes. so in this way this organ uh, this organic uh, structuring works very well and uh, i have seen very good response in labasna one marathon definitely yes. so it is definitely helpful definitely no doubt in that sir regarding optional sir i have not done one, like revision of full syllabus sir partly are completed i want to start from june sir like can you uh, advise which option answer it anthropology sir anthropology you have completed the optional i taken course sir but i not revision on my own okay you can do one revision you have time and after that in uh, after one revision you can definitely start writing see yes. you won't be able to write a good answer unless you revise yes sir 
but again you won't be able to write a good answer unless you write also yes sir so to develop a good answer writing you will have to write yes sir and writing is the thing that we keep on postponing yes so at if you want to postpone make it a dead end like the deadline that no after 30th of june from 1 july i will write the answer no matter what is the quality of my answer actually the thing is that happens the why we ignore the answer writing first thing is that we would never want to do those things which are beyond our comfortable uh, comfort zone yes this is uh, this is one of the reason we do not answer because we you will have to get uncomfortable in writing the answer first thing yes and second thing is that we want to write the best answer in the yes. first answer itself but we forget that the people whose answers we are actually seeing they are not writing for the first time they are actually might be they have written the 100 answers before then only they have got to this place yes so answer writing quality will develop only with answer writing and revision make it a deadline there is no problem currently you have time but do not make it a habit to postpone revise yes, within one month and then and then start writing yes sir thank you sir. you are welcome sir will there be new batch after the prelims for uh, sorry new batch for the paid marathon yeah, yeah. there will be a, another paid batch after the uh, this prelims okay thank you sir okay you are welcome okay uh, we have upma gulia upma i have uh, unmuted you upma are you listening hello 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 yes we are listening to you hello yeah upma are you listening uh, are we audible uh upma you need to unmute your mobile uh, unmute your uh, mic uh i am audible sir yeah you are audible please sir my question is i am having doubt for choosing the optional subject right now i am very comfortable with geography subject but when i get to know the reviews about this subject everyone is saying that it requires around 6 months to complete and uh, it is not going great during previous years so i switch to the anthropology subject but i don't get along with this subject so sir i am very confused between geography and anthropology actually the best decision the um, the any person can take about this is you only just tell me one thing uh, which subject you like more to study geography sir take geography you have answered your question itself see oh, what oh, others oh. are saying see if if it it would have been happening then there should be no selection from the geography portion geography there should not be any geography toppers right what others are saying are they selected per fellows okay and so my second question is uh, i am right now i'm watching analysis of newspaper from indian express so i'm skipping the newspaper reading so should i go with analysis or should i read newspaper daily as i said there is no substitute of newspaper reading no analysis no amount of an analysis is a substitute of newspaper because in the newspaper you actually you will not understand but you you will be developing in many things you will be developing in essay you will be developing in the uh, in your gs portion also you will be developing in your ethics you will be actually learning many examples which you might be able to use in gs 1 2 3 and even gs 4 you will be learning many examples which you will be able to use in your uh, like your uh, this optional subject so those things Won't come out of analysis. Do not ignore. There is no substitute of the newspaper. At least I strongly believe in this. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. You are welcome. Uh, Sagun, I have unmuted you. Mm, hello. Uh, good evening, sir. Yeah. Thank you for the wonderful session and wonderful Telegram challenge, and of course the best guidance. so i wanted to ask that definitely from the very beginning you guided us that the very first step that we should have is 
कि हमारे पास प्रिंट आउट होना चाहिए ऑफ द सिलेबस फॉर द यूपीएससी बट सर वी शुड ऑल्सो नो दैट हाउ टू यूज द सिलेबस फॉर द प्रिपरेशन बिकॉज वी हैव टू रिलेट इट सपोज आई एम स्टार्टिंग विद द सिलेबस ऑफ पॉलिटी आई डिड इट आई हैव द प्रिंट आउट विद मी बट आई वॉज एंट एबल टू यूज इट फॉर माई प्रिपरेशन सो ओके so you are not able to understand how to use the syllabus yes sir the best way to understand is that see the previous questions related to those portions like say suppose there is the historical underpinning you simply see what questions upsc has asked about from this portion or suppose there is a question about cyclone see what type of questions are upsc actually are asking you will be in a much better position to answer this question then have you tried it like this that you have kept the syllabus you have um, categorized the dif different previous questions related to that topic and then try to understand the syllabus yes sir i did that but it was only when that it was front of me uh, so what i did is that this year i am giving prelims i have completed my most of the basics like polity geography history art and culture and i have also gone through all the previous year questions but right now when you said that we should have the hard copy of the uh, syllabus before us i got confused and i remembered that before when i was trying to do this i wasn't able to re uh, relate that okay see if you are not able to relate, uh, relate that uh, what you can do na i will uh, bring i will uh, write uh, bring a write up about this ki how you can actually relate the syllabus because prelims and mains interlinking i have already told you arrangement okay, i have sir. already told you previous questions uh, that is the best relation that you can develop uh, with this prelims syllabus and uh, mains and this pv pyq because that is the actually the link up but exactly uh, you will have to after that you will have to you know matlab uh, think upon the different dimensions like what type of questions that can be asked regarding this like suppose there is poverty what are the regions of poverty what is the status of india in poverty and if any report is regarding that what can be the solution what the government is doing this is all actually you will read and this is all actually upsc will ever ask you like removing poverty how it can help a family how it can develop help india to rise these type of things only come and then you can poverty can be related to the urbanization concept also how it can be related like in uh, urban areas uh, there is the uh, growth of the slums so there is again the poverty so if one say one side we are saying that uh, india is developing then why at least in the urban areas we are having the slums so this type of under interlinking you will uh, develop with time but i will also create a write up and i'll share it on the channel some with some examples so that uh, you can understand it in a better manner okay sir sir my three more doubts were little tiny bits the first one is sir that uh, uh, sir what will you say about the uh, importance of ncrts during the exams like if someone has been a bright student through the school time to sir uske ncrt wala concept it will already be clear so do we need to go through the ncrts again or should we go through the basic books only for the revision again and again like you said ki ek book lo and we should just follow that only uh, suppose uh, if uh, you do not want to go for geography and crt then which book you want to follow uh so for geography and uh, economics i have done ncrt but for polity and history i have not done ncrt yeah for history uh, lakshmikant is more than enough at best uh, you can do ncrt but it is not needed uh if you i mean if you see the type of question that they are asking most of the time lakshmikant is enough for uh, this one this ncrt thing sorry okay, for the sir, polity sir. thing okay sir yeah. sir and for the revision i'm always confused that should i start revision uh uh through the importance like i should consider them that uh, how much weightage the subject is having or i should go at gs wise like gs1 before gs2 before then gs3 then gs4 ultimately in the examination the weightage will matter, matter more so even in the marathon also what i do na uh, i give the focus on revisions of those subjects like the polity because upsc ask more questions from that from economy science and tech 
so those portions which are more more important you should definitely revise them more and if you have time definitely all subjects should be revised there is no harm in that but weightage definitely matters because ultimately the weightage will lead you to selection na matlab if you know that if i will do this one i will i am getting 80 marks and if i will do this one i am getting 20 marks you will definitely give importance to 80 marks first then only 20 marks will come ultimate aim is selection we do not have to do any phd thing we have to get the selection all right for so selection last question okay yeah. sir Uh, sir it's uh, you know me am right now that we have to go for coaching to clear upsc but sir i got to know about your challenge uh, channel little lately and i was really impressed and in first sight it really guided me a lot so sir, sir i wanted to know that uh, whatever your channel provides us the paid and this free uh, mentorship it is actually equal into the mentorship that coachings are provided so sir what will you tell us if the students are following you do we need to go through coaching or the mentorship programs that the coachings are giving us means this is just a doubt and the thing that i'm puzzled at right now see as i said what is your aim so i have to i want to be an is in 2024 that is your aim right will joining a coaching guarantee selection no sir my study and my sincerity will guide me to the selection that is the answer i provide the targets i make the targets for you in both free and paid marathon when i started this channel and i started the paid initiative also i got many messages from those who were following the free marathon they told me sir you have we started the paid initiative what will happen to us what will uh, happen to this free marathon i said them it is not the size of the paid batch that will matter it will be the size of my commitment that will matter and my commitment was that you had been following me for a past one or two months and you have trusted me for your preparation how can i leave your hands in between i provide the schedule only but if you follow the schedule if you do the self study if you are sincere with your study joining a question will never come in question actually joining a coaching will never come in question coaching never guarantee the selection your sincerity your self study your consistency your belief system your faith in you that yes i can crack uh, i can crack this examination will ultimately lead to selection because if i suppose there see there are many students and uh, who go to wajiram and uh, wajiram is a famous institute uh, they but is everybody selected and there are lot number of many institutes we know a lot of names are is every student selected no because coachings are also trying to deliver but the problem is the uh, that uh, even in the second day itself less number of students are attending and whatever they are attending they are not actually trying to see the syllabus they become they are actually preparing they are getting molded as per what the te- their teacher is saying to them but they are not referring to their syllabus they are not following a schedule they are not sticking to previous questions ultimately leading to sel- uh, the non selection initially uh, what i told you i told only one thing that your first friend is you your second friend is your syllabus and your third friend is your previous questions then other things come i am standing at the fourth position you can definitely trust me if uh, if you like uh, if you are fo- if you follow the marathon those who have followed they haven't required the uh, this one like uh, they haven't required the coaching in fact there are many students who have joined uh, they had been in from the very reputed institutes they have personally messaged me many times that i never felt so much this much confident doing my prelims preparation so this thing happens and uh, you know the things uh, uh, rest of the thing if you follow you will definitely get the benefit okay sir thank you so much you are welcome okay sanjay
संजय आई हैव अलाउड यू टू स्पीक ओके संजय वी ऑल कैन हियर यू सर आई एम न्यू टू द प्रिपरेशन कैन यू प्लीज शेयर द पीडीएफ ऑफ कंप्लीट बुक लिस्ट सो दैट आई कैन फॉलो योर मैराथन I will be sharing the book list uh, in some time. Actually, uh, I am also just uh, checking the uh, book list so that I can keep it to the minimum. Uh, I will be yes, sharing sir. it within the few days on the thank channel you, itself. Yes, thank you. you. Are okay. Yes, Deep Shikha. Uh, I have unmuted you. Uh, Deep Sikha, are you listening? Okay. Oki Oki. <laughs> Different name. Oki Oki. Am I audible? Yeah, you are audible. Please. Yes. So, like, I'm uh, very new to uh, preparation. Like, I, I just want to like uh, some tips. Like, I'm a working professional uh, in Bangalore. Like, uh, how can I start with like time management? Uh, how can you start uh, the preparation? Yeah, like, uh, like I know the steps. Like, but uh, how can I like uh, work? Like, I cannot uh, devote like seven hours or six hours a day. So. you see uh, whatever time you can devote na let's, let's suppose you can devote 5 hours a day fine 5 hours a day and uh, your saturday sunday is off perhaps yes. right make uh, full use of saturday sunday and those 5 hours be uh, sincere with that uh, prepare a schedule and stick to that go for a limited number of books like for the polity if you will complete the lakshmikant itself you will be completing the 100% like 50% syllabus of the, from lakshmikant itself so prepare a book list and then you simply follow that that's it that is only you can do and job is your strength you are not having the tension of security so that is that situation is actually in your favor okay yes thank you okay all the best Uh, yes, Praful. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Uh, th- thanks a lot for giving me opportunity to speak. So I have one question related to the last question. So I am also working professional. Can devote six hours and all. Uh, and I am uh, eight years experienced as a senior software developer. So I am trying, like, uh, I am trying to uh, get into the uh, civil services. So uh, can you please guide me? Like, it's been long since I have studied the course. So how do you? Uh, basically study basically it's a very basic question how do you actually study right you got a book right where you study uh, uh, line by line i i also do it uh, i study 10 15 pages then i uh, uh, then i uh, uh, like uh, try to recall but it's very hard to uh, do it uh, then i get uh, demotivated uh, seeing like how will be i able to complete so vast labels covering 3000 th- to 4000 pages including optional so can you please guide some uh, like it's very uh, critical for me it's maybe easy for others but yeah how to really uh, study uh, like you got it see uh, that that thing actually i believe i had discussed in this in the starting if your why is clear see if you are happy in your job and uh, you do not find a worthier position in an up in the upsc you won't want to go over there but you want to go over there you want to reach labasna it means you find it worthier than what position you are actually in because each of us has a tendency to do better in life and for you it might be that your better is reaching the labasna right theek hai so you imp- want to improve your position may no may not be in terms of salary because definitely you might be getting the better salary but in terms of the status and the prestige and the power that is attached to those positions so you can paste a why your card you need to spend start spending your time instead of your colleagues from the office 
with those which who are actually studying this many of you uh, many of you or okay, you can say few of your friends might also be wishing the same ki they have to start the preparation if it is possible form a core group of two or at max three persons who want to prepare for upsc this is very important this will help you because doing it alone will be tougher if you do not get uh, you can say the environment to do that but if your one or two friends are with you who are also actually want to prepare this examination and they are ready to sacrifice their weekend with you because they also want to reach the labasna so you all can form a group you can uh, you know, fix a target for a week and you all can do uh, the discussions in the office also uh, provided it does not hamper your office uh, your work quality but you can then utilize the, the that time with your core group in studying that will definitely help you second thing is that in the case you do not have a core group join a library do not try to study at home because you do not have the environment you currently see in, being in bangalore and uh, having a fast life you have a habit of that and as you said you are 8 years uh, you are into 8 uh, you are having the experience of 8 years and you are a senior software developer so your company and your environment is full of those corporate people right right so they have a different kind of lifestyle total different kind of lifestyle they love partying this is the generally the corporate culture five days we have a week kaam karna hai and after five days or uh, two days they do the full party exactly so to get out of that you need a different company which take you to a different world so either you can join a library or you can form a core group okay and you will have to sacrifice uh, other stuffs definitely okay so just just last question so if i have to study so basically i have to uh, like study uh, some pages and all and i i have to keep on doing that right uh, is there any uh, like see uh, if you have to study some pages you have to keep on doing that that is not the re- um, thing you should be doing if you have to study a page you have to study it with understanding okay keeping in mind the syllabus previous questions and why are you actually reading because just for reading sake if you will be reading you, uh, you will get bored very soon but if your why is clear then out of this i have to write this out of this i have to do this this is relevant for upsc this is relevant for this one then that will help you out more how do we mug up the vast information vast data are upsc do not requires the mug up uh, rest of the things you will uh, automatically get mugged up in uh, the course of revision okay. another thing what you can do na ki uh, this i used to do sometimes like there are few data that we have to definitely mug up few places names uh, we have to mug up like uh, first buddhist council and all first thing if, if you will uh, read history properly you will um, remember it by itself but if you want to still you want uh, that you should be able to recall it properly uh, what you can do now after reading next day try to recall where was the first buddhist council uh, happened oh, okay. if you are remembering good not remembering revisit revisit make it a uh, make it an habit things will be automatically you will learn up awesome Th- thanks you so much wish you a very good day thank you uh madhulika uh so i have only a uh, like 5 um, minutes more so madhulika Gayatri, Winston, Abilasa, Anis, Mega. Only six people I will be allowing, and then we will have a, um, end of this session because it is going to uh, too long. Madhulika, uh, I have allowed you to speak, please. Sir, I want to ask that now the newspaper is necessary. Like ki I have to appear in 2024, then it's right time to read newspaper. It is the best time to start the newspaper if you are appearing for 2024. If you are preparing for 2023. then leave the newspaper for time being so i am appearing for pre this year right now leave the newspaper give 100% focus to your prelims that's it and sir so for next year if i read newspaper then i will have to make notes daily basis 
you can uh, because you have the understanding since you are already paying for the prelims but uh, make sure that your newspaper the, your notes should not be more than this much like uh, this um, this is at at max the one pay, uh, one day new, newspaper notes should be not be more than this much page that's it nothing more than that do not write a newspaper out of newspaper sir one thing more when i write answer sir तो आई सीन की मतलब हर चीज इम्पोर्टेंट ही लगता है एंड आई राइट ऑल दिंग्स एंड बट देर इज वर्ड लिमिटेशन लाइक वन फिफ्टी वर्ड्स और टू फिफ्टी वर्ड्स तो सर हाउ टू मैनेज इट दिस विल कम विथ आंसर राइटिंग प्रैक्टिस वेन टू यू विल डू ना यू विल गेट योर कॉपी वैल्यूटेड यू विल अल्टीमेटली अंडरस्टैंड इट आई विल आई विल ऑल्सो डू ए स्पेशल सेशन ऑन द आंसर राइटिंग आफ्टर फ्यू डेज ओके सर थैंक यू वेलकम Okay Gayatri I am allowing you to speak Gayatri I have unmuted you Okay I am also say, telling the name who uh, whom I will be allowing after Gayatri uh Winston Abilasa Winston yeah abilasa pratik anish megha gayatri i have allowed that's it uh, that will be the end of the session uh, gayatri good evening sir good evening sir i am in first year so how to start study of upsc from now uh first year you are doing graduation yes okay uh, you can read the newspaper and uh, one by one uh, one one ncrts you are slowly each cha one chapter a day that's it simple only but newspaper and ncrt finish ha huh. but be sincere with you all like uh, your this one um, your gradu- be sincere with your graduation what is your graduation subjects what are your graduation subjects english literature history and eco be very sincere with history and eco Okay, that will also help you in this uh, UPSC thing. Who knows? Out of uh, these two, you will be taking one optional. Uh, yes. Okay. And sir, I uh, need NCERT. One subject, subject ki parni chahiye. Dono sabhi uh, lekar. Matlab pehle history ki Ab... complete karni chahiye ya uh, sabhi ki. Nee nee. One by one kijiye. Pehle history uthaiye. Jo bhi history hai, pad daliye. फिर ज्योग्राफी उठाइए ज्योग्राफी पढ़िए एक दिन में एक चैप्टर कीजिए अभी आपके पास टाइम है तीन साल बाद ही आपको एग्जाम देना हाँ पहले हिस्ट्री की सभी एनसीईआरटी सभी मतलब हिस्ट्री की हिस्ट्री और आप आप अभी स्टैंडर्ड बुक में जाना है आप तो देखिए सेकंड स्टेप पर जाना है स्टैंडर्ड बुक की आपको जरूरत ही नहीं आपका ग्रेजुएशन सब्जेक्ट है हिस्ट्री उसे अच्छे से कर लीजिए आप अपना ग्रेजुएशन का हिस्ट्री अच्छे से कीजिए आपको किसी स्टैंडर्ड बुक की जरूरत नहीं पड़ेगी पहले सभी सब्जेक्ट की एनसीईआरटी पढ़नी है और बाद में दूसरे से मतलब स्टैंडर्ड बुक पर जाना है सारी स्टैंडर्ड सब्जेक्ट्स के लिए स्टैंडर्ड बुक की जरूरत नहीं है लाइक ज्योग्राफी के लिए एनसीईआरटी सफिशिएंट है एट बेस्ट आप जीसी लियोंग देख सकते हैं दैट इज एनफ तो ऐसा नहीं कि सारे सब्जेक्ट्स में आपको कोई स्टैंडर्ड बुक है अभी आप सिर्फ अपना जो आपका ग्रेजुएशन है उसके सब्जेक्ट अच्छे से कीजिए न्यूज़पेपर अच्छे से कीजिए और एक एक पोर्सन उठा के लाइक ज्योग्राफी उठाया सिक्स टू ट्वेल्थ ज्योग्राफी फिनिश कर दिया इस तरह से एक एक करके करते जाइए बाकी मैं बुक लिस्ट एक दूंगा अगर आप उसे फॉलो कर सकते हैं तो बहुत अच्छा रहेगा ओके थैंक यू सर यू आर वेलकम गायत्री ओके अनीस अनीस वी आई हैव अलाउड यू अनीस हेलो सर ओके अनीस यू कैन अनम्यूट योर मोबाइल योर माइक सो दैट वी कैन लिसन टू यू हेलो सर एम आई ऑडिबल अनीस ओके अनीस नहीं कर पाए विंस्टन विंस्टन विस्टन लॉन्ग राइट
नमस्ते सर थैंक यू सर नमस्ते हाँ बिल्कुल आप हिंदी बोल सकते हैं हिंदी इनफैक्ट मैं ज्यादा कंफर्टेबल होता हूँ मेरी इंग्लिश इसीलिए मैंने वोट कराया था मैं सोचा कि सारे बच्चे का हिंदी के लिए बोल देंगे तो मैं हिंदी में ही सेशन लूंगा आई एम मोर कंफर्टेबल इन हिंदी सर मेरा मेरा कंसर्न ये है कि मैं अभी ग्रेजुएशन लास्ट ईयर में हूँ और मेरा लास्ट सेमेस्टर है सेमेस्टर एग्जाम चल रहे हैं तो क्या सर इस जो सेशन हुआ है मैं शुरू से तो नहीं देख पाया हूँ सेशन को तो इसका क्या रिकॉर्डिंग उपलब्ध रहेगा हाँ मैंने इसका रिकॉर्डिंग तो लगा दिया था अगर होगा तो मैं यूट्यूब पे डाल दूंगा जो सिविल सर्विसेज विथ नीलेष चैनल है उस पर मैं अपलोड कर दूंगा लिंक शेयर कर दूंगा तो आप उसे देख लीजिएगा ओके सर मेरा नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन है कि सर मैं एग्जाम हिंदी मीडियम से दे रहा हूँ मैं इंग्लिश समझता हूँ और मतलब जैसे टॉपर टॉपी वगैरह मैंने खूब सारा एनालिसिस किया है कि जो मतलब टॉपर्स का मार्कशीट होता है उसमें जो टॉप जिन्होंने जिन जिस सब्जेक्ट में जैसे जी एफ जी एस टू में जिन्होंने टॉप रैंक मतलब जिनका ज्यादा मार्क्स है उनकी कॉपी मैंने मतलब निकाल ली है कि इन इन टॉपर्स का कॉपी मुझे देखना है और उनको मैं बार बार देखता रहता हूँ और मैंने अपना ऑप्शनल सब्जेक्ट हिंदी लिटरेचर रखा है तो जिसके मैंने पहले मतलब लगभग सिक्सटी परसेंट मैंने उसकी तैयारी की और सर ये जीएस में मुझे ये नहीं समझ में आ रहा है कि मतलब जैसे मैं खुद से प्रिपरेशन कर रहा हूँ तो मुझे क्या कोचिंग वगैरह लेनी चाहिए क्योंकि तो हिंदी मीडियम वगैरह में जैसे सर दो साल का कोचिंग का ही हो जाता है जैसे यहाँ की टॉप कोचिंग है वहाँ पे तो लगभग दो साल तो ऐसे ही हो जाता है और यहाँ पे मतलब मुझे कोई गाइडेंस देने वाला भी नहीं होता ऐसे ही यूट्यूब वगैरह और टेलीग्राम चैनल से जो देखो आप अगर आप देखो कोचिंग ज्वाइन करना आपको सिलेक्शन की गारंटी तो नहीं देगा आपका नाम बता सकते हैं सर मेरा नाम कृपा शंकर कृपा शंकर जी देखो कोचिंग से सिलेक्शन की गारंटी नहीं है आपका जैसा मैंने बोला अगर आप एक सही शेड्यूल फॉलो कर लेते हैं आप सिलेबस को समझ लेते हैं एनालिसिस करते हैं अच्छी बात है लेकिन सभी की एनालिसिस नहीं करते हैं आप जैसा मैंने डेसीफर कर पाया आप सबको फॉलो करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं सबको मत फॉलो कीजिए यही सर मेरे साथ प्रॉब्लम सब सबको फॉलो करेंगे तो सिलेक्शन भूल जाइए सबको नहीं फॉलो करना है फॉलो करना है फॉलो करने में कोई बुराई नहीं किसी ना किसी को तो फॉलो करेंगे लेकिन लिमिटेड लोगों को कीजिए क्योंकि सबकी स्ट्रेटेजी अगर आप फॉलो करेंगे तो आपकी स्ट्रेटेजी बचेगी नहीं आप सबकी स्ट्रेटेजी फॉलो ही नहीं कर सकते क्योंकि हर पर्सन का रास्ता अलग है तो वो आपको अब जो जिस रास्ते से गया वो आपको वो रास्ता बताएगा डेफिनेटली तो रास्ता एक या दो लोगों का आप मान सकते हैं तीसरे का तो दस लोग बता देंगे आप दस रास्ते में तो आप भटक जाएंगे ना फिर तो किसी एक को फॉलो कर लीजिए अगर आपके और देखिए कोचिंग अगर आपको चीजें पढ़ के समझ में आती है अब देखिए सीधी सी बात है अब मुगल्स इंडिया आए इसमें कोचिंग वाले सर क्या पढ़ा लेंगे आपको वो तो आप भी पढ़ सकते हैं इंटरलिंकिंग आपकी एक्चुअली डेवलप होगी जब आप रिविजन करते हैं जब आप एक चीज को चार बार पढ़ते हैं ना इंटरलिंकिंग अपने आप डेवलप होती है पहली बार में इंटरलिंकिंग उस तरह से कभी डेवलप नहीं होती जब आप चार बार पढ़ते हैं पूरे सब्जेक्ट्स को आप पढ़ लेते हैं देखिए जब पहली बार पढ़ते हैं तो आप टुकड़ों टुकड़ों में पढ़ते हैं जब आप पूरा पढ़ लेते हैं और जब आप उसको दोबारा रिवाइज कर होते हो तो आपको पूरा सब कुछ पता है फिर आपको इस टुकड़े का इंपॉर्टेंस समझ में आता है क्योंकि पहली बार में तो आपने ये टुकड़ा पढ़ा था चैप्टर वन पढ़ा था चैप्टर ट्वेंटी के बारे में आपको अता पता ही नहीं था लेकिन अब आपने चैप्टर वन से ट्वेंटी तक आपने पढ़ लिया और जब आप दोबारा चैप्टर वन को पढ़ रहे होंगे तो इस टुकड़े को आप समझ होंगे इन कंपेरिजन टू जितने भी टुकड़े हैं सबके कंपेरिजन में तो इंटरलिंकिंग अपने आप डेवलप होगी आपको समझ में आएगा कि किस तरीके से पॉलिटी चेंज हुई इकोनॉमी चेंज हुई सोसाइटी किस तरह से चेंज हुई एंड चीजें कैसे होती चली गई कोचिंग समय डेफिनेटली कुछ कुछ जगह पे अच्छी चीजें मिल जाती है कि टीचर्स आपको वो लिंक करके आपका काम आसान बना देते हैं बट आपका कोचिंग के दो घंटे की कोचिंग में कई बार आपका चार पांच घंटा वेस्ट भी हो जाता है तो वो चीज आप खुद भी सीख सकते हैं तो आजकल हर चीज का जो वीडियो है ना वो यूट्यूब पे तो अवेलेबल है एक टॉपिक बताइए जिसका यूट्यूब पे वीडियो अवेलेबल ना हो जैसा इनफैक्ट मतलब कोचिंग का टेलीग्राम वगैरह पे वीडियो कई कोचिंग्स के हैं मैं मतलब एक नॉट एन पार्टिकुलर कोचिंग कोई कई कोचिंग्स होंगी तो आप देखो लेकिन अब देखो इसमें भी आपको एक चीज ध्यान देना है <coughs> अब दस कोचिंग के वीडियोस हैं आप दसों कोचिंग के हिस्ट्री के वीडियो देख रहे हैं वो मत करना कोई एक कोचिंग का वीडियो देखा ठीक है फिर अब हम अपने से पढ़ेंगे हम अपने से समझेंगे हमें दस कोचिंग का वीडियो नहीं जानना है एक कोचिंग देखेंगे अच्छा लगा 
सर ने पढ़ाया डज नॉट मैटर कि बाल सफेद थे कि काले थे उससे मैटर नहीं करता पढ़ाने आना चाहिए अच्छा बता रहा होगा काफी है उतना तो ही चाहिए फिर अपने से पढ़ लीजिए समझ में आ जाएगा ओके यू आर वेलकम ओके लास्ट स्पीकर आई एम सो सॉरी जिनको मैं अलाउ नहीं कर पा रहा हूँ क्योंकि टाइम uh, अब हो गया है एंड या अनीस सर थैंक यू फॉर द सेशन सर सर आई एम ऑल्सो आई टी प्रोफेशनल आई एम करेंटली वर्किंग तो सर मेरा डाउट था जैसे मैं अभी पॉलिटी स्टार्ट करने जा रहा हूँ तो मैं क्लास सिक्स से स्टार्ट करूँ या क्लास नाइन टू ट्वेल्थ से स्टार्ट करूँ पॉलिटी स्टार्ट करने जा रहे हैं ना आप यस सर यस आप इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एट वर्क पढ़िए उसके बाद सीधे लक्ष्मीकांत पे चले जाइए आप यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट आपको सिक्स टू उसमें पॉलिटिकल उतना का आपका काम का है नहीं वो ज्यादा से ज्यादा तो आपको तो डायरेक्ट लक्ष्मीकांत पढ़ सकते हैं पढ़ लीजिए नहीं तो अगर आप इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एट वर्क से स्टार्ट कर सकते हैं ओके सर ये सब सारे जरूरी नहीं है ना क्लास नहीं सारी बुक्स नहीं देखिये जियोग्राफी के लिए जरूरी है सिक्स टू ट्वेल्थ नॉट ईच एंड एवरी एनसीआर इज इम्पोर्टेंट टाइम okay, है तो पढ़ सकते हैं कोई दिक्कत नहीं है लेकिन टाइम टाइम होना चाहिए टाइम आपके पास कम है आपको प्रायोरिटाइज करना पड़ेगा यू एज यू सेड यू आर वर्किंग प्रोफेशनल यस सर यस और सर और एक क्वेश्चन है न्यूज़पेपर में जो ओपिनियन वाले सेक्शन होते हैं सर वो कितना जरूरी है डिपेंड करता है कि ओपिनियन दिया किस चीज पे गया है अब इंडिया और चाइना के रिलेशनशिप पे कोई अगर ओपिनियन दिया गया है वो इम्पोर्टेंट हो सकता है तो वो ओके ओपिनियन टू ओपिनियन डिफर करेगा ओके सर थैंक यू सर ओके यू आर वेलकम ओके सो नाउ दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द एंड ऑफ द सेशन आई एम सो सॉरी जिनको मैं अलाउ नहीं कर पा रहा हूँ बहुत सारे लोग कह रहे हैं बोलने के लिए बट इट्स ऑलरेडी नाइन ट्वेंटी बहुत लंबा सेशन हो गया एंड इट हैज बीन रियली ग्रेट टाइम विथ यू लाइक आई आई है मतलब then this two hours speaking with you sharing that uh, what i learned i hope this session would have been useful to you i had uh, record i had put it in the recording let's see if the recording will be available i will be sharing it in youtube shortly um, and i will also share the link all i want to say to you is that in the end remember there will be two choices throughout your life first choice will be easy and the second choice will be the right choice you will have to take a decision the easier choice will be you won't have to get up you can do the party you can do all the time pass and you can waste all your productive youth you can have fun you can go for the movies you can waste the money whatever you have or you are getting from the family this was one of the easy choice but the right choice will be to get up in the morning exercise and then go to the study table and each day practice like a warrior so that in the end you won't have to be a warrior i hope this session would have been useful to you free marathon i will be launching for those who are not able to take the paid marathon even if you are not able to be the part of paid marathon it does not mean that i am not with you i am with you with all my capacity to help you so that you cannot be misguided like i was misguided once use the marathon use the upcoming marathon which will be launched after the prelims result so that you can come out of this life and enjoy the life of labasna and letter can contribute to the development of this nation this was all from my side for this session this was nilesh kumar singh thank you very much